cilantro lime chicken. I am in love with this dish and if you love cilantro, I think you will be too. Hello and welcome back to The Active Foodie. That's me. We've got some cooking to do, so let's get started. So let's begin with the marinade. Get a cutting board and a knife and slice in half two limes and squeeze the juice out because you want to have about six tablespoons of that awesome juice. That sounded so weird. Why did I say it like that? Moving on to that same bowl that you have the lime juice, you're going to add in one tablespoon of maple syrup, two tablespoons of olive oil, one teaspoon of cumin, and then I added in a quarter teaspoon of gochugaru, which is a Korean red chili powder. You can add in regular red chili powder, that's up to you, or leave it out, but it adds flavor and it's awesome. And what I'm sure every person loves to hear when trying to follow a recipe, you're gonna add in your black ground pepper and salt to taste. It's totally up to you, sorry. <laughs> After that, finally chop a few stalks of cilantro and two cloves of garlic. Add all of that to the rest of the marinade and mix it up until everything is fully incorporated. Moving on to the actual marinating of the chicken. I used only four chicken breasts in this recipe, but you can use about six or eight of them. And yes, I began by washing my chicken. Put your chicken breasts into a large bowl and pour that beautiful marinade all over the chicken. You can put on gloves or wash your hands and get in there and get all messy, mix it up and make sure that each chicken breast is fully coated in that marinade. Cover it and place it in the fridge for about 15 to 20 minutes. About five minutes before you take the chicken out of the fridge, turn your oven on to 425 degrees. Then in an oven safe pot or pan, you're gonna drizzle in just a little bit of olive oil and sear that newly marinated chicken on both sides. If the pan is hot enough, it should take about two to three minutes on both sides. And don't throw that marinade away. Add that marinade to the pot and place it in the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes. And that's pretty much it, guys. So I'm gonna go cook some rice and then, yeah, it's time to eat. Again, this recipe is very cilantro heavy. So if you're not a cilantro fan, I'm sorry, but I had to pull this one out because it's just so delicious. You got to give it a go if you love cilantro. I'm a poet. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.